T minus. Pre valves are coming open for one last engine chill. Helium load has ended nominally. And at T minus one minute, the flight computer will be commanded to the startup state. First stage engines are chilled in. Vehicles in idle auto. T minus one minute. Vehicles in startup. First and second stages are pressing. First stage TVC motion looks good. T minus 30 seconds. Standing by now for taking the tanks to flight pressure and activating the pad deluge water system. T minus, T minus 20, 20, seconds. 20 seconds. The main engine controller commands will give the command to start the engine sequence at T minus 3 seconds. We're at T minus 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and lift off. We've had a cutoff. Lift off did not occur. We've had a launch abort. Launch abort. We've had a launch abort. You see standing by. Launch sequence have not already aborted. Bear did not, flight computers are not start up. We did not get. Uh, Confirmation from the first motion sensor that liftoff occurred. BC vehicle is flight computer is not in startup. Flight computer is not in startup. Flight computer GCB is GCB not GCB in GCB startup. If fire present at the launch mount. Copy. OSM verify you're ready to save the FTS. <laughs> OSM verify ready to save the FTS. Copy. Right now, the vehicle is being safed. The ignition sequence had started, but uh, there was a cutoff. Verify all computers are in manual mode. It's verified. BC, close the engine pre-valves and open the aux bleeds. Pre-valves are closed, aux bleeds are open. BC, verify S2 internal, S1 internal aborted. That's confirmed. AVI, verify vehicle power is nominal. Vehicle power is nominal. OSM, set launch enable to inhibit. Switch into inhibit. BC, perform the following steps to get TPC back to manual mode. Set S2 TPC mode to manual and open the S2 fuel vent valve. Setting stage 2 TPC to manual, opening up fuel vent. Prop, report when ready to vent the S2 LOX tank. Prop's ready. DC, open the S2 LOX tank vent. Stage 2 LOX tank vent coming open. BC, set S1 TPC mode to manual and open S1 fuel vent valve. S1 TPC going to manual, fuel vent coming open. Prop, report when ready to vent the S1 LOX tank. Prop's ready. BC, open the S1 LOX tank vent S1 LOX tank vent valve coming open. BC, verify close the S1 flight ox fill and drain and the S2 flight ox fill and drain. It's verified. DC, verify Dragon has aborted and is in a stable configuration. Verified. GC, verify the fuel manifolds are vented, S1 and S2 locks interface, and S1 and S2 RP interface. Verified. GC, verify water and deluge ring press valve secured by terminal count and port auto sequence. Secured. GC, verify the TVC tank is vented. TVC tank is vented. GC, verify TTAP secured by terminal count abort auto sequence and complete the following. That's in work. GS, verify data hourly rollover is enabled. Confirmed. AVI, determine the need to initiate battery charge sequences. We do not need to charge. BC, 
Ticket not perform in step 59.20, battery charging not required. AVI instruct VC to cycle power on transmitters to keep the temperatures within launch limits. Copy. The VC. International Space Station crew has been advised that uh, there was a cutoff in the launch sequence and uh, the liftoff did not occur. 23. Roger. Verifying nominal FTS state. Copy. Safe and arms are in a state, the safe state. Ordnance interrupters are in the safe state. FTS is on external power, and FTS state is nominal. Is that correct, OSM? Roger. LD, the vehicle is safe. LD copies. As reported by flight software, we had an abort on engine five chamber pressure high. LC, please continue to proceed through scrub securing. Copy. That's in work. Okay, Okay, proceeding to section 10.62. OSM, reestablish your old blocks at the BDA. In, in work. GC, disable the vehicle fill and drain airlock controls. In work. Complete. 